of Hashim from Saudi. So my question is, if my friend has a birthday party and um, and I don't want to go because I know it's haram, but my parents uh, tell me to go and maybe they might force me. Am I, uh, and I go, am I a sin or no? Okay, I will answer inshallah. That Hashim from uh, Saudi Arabia, I think, uh, his parents oblige him to attend a birthday party. He knows it is not permissible to attend such parties. So what should he do if they are forcing him? Nothing. Don't go. You're a man. And the word forcing, we have to look into it. Is it compelling or not? Someone comes to me and says, Sheikh, I, forced, uh, I was forced to divorce my wife. Does the divorce take place? And I said, um, being forced means that you don't have the freedom of will. So the divorce does not take place. Zzz, wrong answer. What do you mean? You should ask what kind of force was used. Ah, sorry. So, Akhi, how did they force you to divorce your wife? He says, she told me that she won't cook me dinner tonight if I don't divorce her. And I was hungry, so I divorced her. This is not forcing. She said to me that she will travel back home next week. So I was forced to divorce her. This is not forcing. A compelling forcing is that when she brings a gun and puts it to your head and says, divorce me or I'll blow your brains all over the place. When she is in, in the 60th floor and she threatens to throw herself and you know she cra she's crazy and she's going to do that. This is compelling forcing. You, f you divorce and it doesn't take place. Likewise, your parents, what will they do? They hold a gun against your head? No. They will probably say that we will uh, shout at you, we will not give you pocket money, etc. And this is not compelling forcing. You need to uh, hold your grounds and remain steadfast on Islam. There's no obedience to any creature while disobeying the, cre the Creator, the Almighty.